The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. The risk factors developing an abdominal aortic aneurysm are similar to those when developing a blocked artery. And that includes cigarette smoking, diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. Though we also know genetics plays a role in the development of abdominal aortic aneurysm, such that if you have a family history for aneurysm, you're also at risk for developing a similar problem. Most patients with an abdominal aortic aneurysm present to their physician without having any symptoms. This is about 80% of the patients. On the other hand, 20% of patients will have symptoms of abdominal or back pain as the presenting symptom of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. The screening tests for diagnosing abdominal aortic aneurysm are fairly easily obtainable and econo economically available. This includes ultrasound abdominal aorta and even plain x-rays of the abdomen can show an abdominal aortic aneurysm the majority of times. Treatment options for abdominal aortic aneurysm re repair are varied. Most patients, 80%, can have an endovascular aneurysm repair, which is a minimally invasive surgery, though the other 20% may have to have open surgery where we directly repair the abdominal aortic aneurysm through an abdominal incision. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.